Back into the action we go here at Raura in Cumbria, and it's the official FIM Mini GP class for 160. Frankie Watson and Tyler Humphreys on the front row from Hudson Cooper and Wilson Dilks. Then Dan Stevenson and Joe Herring from Chloe Gleason and Ollie O'Gorman. Lucas King and Joe Cooper round out the top 10. But there's talent further back as well. Leo Solio and Max Robinson are back on the grid again. Ollie Everts and Leo Hams will take the start. Harry Rafferty and Lucy Curtis sadly will not. But who's going to get the best start? Frankie Watson wants to make a decent launch forward, but that is an absolute charge from the 19. No problems at all for Tyler Humphreys. He launches forward. The Scotsman hits the top of the deck as they work their way through the first chicane. Hudson Cooper putting himself up to second position as well. Not quite the start that our pole sitter Frankie Watson wanted. So as they work their way forward, Watson's got a bit of work to do from third position. They come out of McRae's, out of Idell's, a long lakeside, and it's already a pretty clean start. I have to say, well done to everybody. But Tyler Humphreys, Hudson Cooper, and Frankie Watson. That's your top three at the moment. And with Watson having started from pole position, expect him to retaliate here. He is not going to sit around in third position waiting for the checkered flag. He's going to be pushing and pushing hard. No, this could be a close race. Hudson Cooper in the mix, and it's good to see Hudson back after his big crash at Teesside. It's good to see him on social media, letting everybody know that he was okay after the race, because that was a big one there. Wilson Dilks pushing hard as well to keep himself in the mix of this one. Humphreys is your leader, then Cooper, then Watson, and then Wilson Dilks. Josh Herring doing a fair job in fourth, uh, sorry, fifth position now. Chloe Gleason having a good ride so far, looking at P6 for the moment. Leo Solio and Max Robinson, who were stars in the previous race of our programme, right up there in the mix as well, trying to work their way into the top ten. But certainly for the moment, Humphreys has got the measure of Cooper. What about Watson and Dilks? They are getting closer to each other, so Frankie Watson has actually lost a bit of ground here as the teammates, Humphreys and Cooper, are having a solid ride of it up in front. Looking very sturdy at the moment as they go through Sunny. And Frankie Watson, has that dropped him down to fourth position? I think Wilson Dilks may have got through there into third place on Frankie Watson. So not the best of starts to the race then for Watson. Yeah, indeed. Watson's having to come back at him into third position into the first chicane. Did he finish that move off on Wilson Dilks? Think he might have been able to. Certainly an easy run up the inside line. Timing's frozen, Jake. The timing's frozen oh, it has. currently, so we've got no timing. But uh, I think Watson is just caught up, in fact. And it is Watson in front. He has yeah, got he through into third through. place, so thank goodness for that. He was able to keep it together. And that was a tricky move to pull off into the first corner. Goodness me, Tyler Humphreys, not just flirting with the white line, he was almost in a relationship with it as he went through there to the braking zone. That could have pitched him very fast off the bike. Goodness Surpri me. Surprising to see Max Robinson down in 12th place, Jake. We saw on the grid he was starting down the field in this one. We've just seen him comfortably win the 110 race. But of course, these are different bikes, different weights of bikes, different levels of experience, and he's not having the best day of it so far in this class. And they're very different bikes. I mean, everybody thinks, oh, racing, uh, racing a bike is racing a bike, but no, they do handle very differently. The change of the weight, the change of the horsepower, the change of the tire profile, it Indeed. makes such a big difference. Yeah, this is one of those classes where I think the top two, I believe, go through to the World Championships at the end of the season. So. This is a, a huge class for the championship, British Mini Bikes Championship, featuring the Mini GT UK series. And of course, that uh, the Ovali classes, these Ovali bikes, all part of the World Championships later in the year. And it's all the road to MotoGP, of course, for these riders. They want to be superstars of the future. Here comes Frankie Watson. He wants a little bit more from this race, and he's going to steal second. Beautiful run. He's definitely got himself back up to speed now, up the inside of Hudson Cooper. That'll do nicely for Frankie Watson into B2. Has he got time to close in on Tyler Humphreys? They're now on lap five. He's certainly got time. Whether he's got speed and opportunity, that's the next task. This is the battle for eighth place we're looking at from the drones. They come through turn one, through the S's effectively, the bus stop, call it what you will. Battle's continuing on here as we watch our race leader, Tyler Humphreys. Olio Gorman just losing out to Leo Soliu in their battle for the top ten. Olio Gorman, of course, the younger brother of Casey, who is going to be a megastar in years to come. Right, a little further back from those two, though, this is the battle for 11th, and this is raging at the moment. It's not just about what you do when you're winning, it's about what you do when you're not. And you've got to try and beat your opposition. Max Robertson, Leo Hams, Ollie Evans, Joe Cooper, and they are not relenting. This battle just will not die. Yeah, we saw Robinson win comfortably in the 110 class. He's battling here for position, but he's battling for 11th in this one. 
Theo Hams just about hanging on in front of Ollie Everts, who thinks better of a do-or-die manoeuvre into Iredales. They go along Lakeside, watch for Joe Cooper. He's not letting them get away either. Up the inside, can Everts have a think about it? It's just too big a commitment, that's the thing. When you've only got that much space to play with, that kind of corner, it closes quite quickly on a bike. And you just don't want to take that big a risk, especially when you've got so many more laps to go. But this battle still increasing. Max Robertson's actually starting to stretch away a little bit from these three. So Everts wanting to have a go, and here come the leaders. This is where things can get a bit tricky for Tyler Humphreys. Timing is going to be everything because he's got Everts and Cooper having a great duel. Further up, we've got Lucas King now having been caught by Leo Soliu, and Olio Gorman is just waiting in the wings to see if these guys clatter into each other. But this is tricky for Tyler Humphreys. First, he deals with Joe Cooper. Take your time, don't rush this. These two are battling, Hammer and Tongs. Hams and Evitz, he's gonna take on Evitz first and nearly goes into the side of Leo Hams on the exit, goodness me. That's good riding, it's good riding. Very confident riding as well for the race leader. He's got to get through the traffic. How you deal with the traffic that can win you and lose your races. With Max Robinson. This will be an unusual moment for Max Robinson. He was winning earlier beautiful. and now he's being lapped. Beautiful, beautiful riding. To be fair to Humphreys, he has lost a little bit of time to Frankie Watson in the traffic, but nowhere near enough to be panicking. Watson is still there or thereabouts. 1.2 or so, 1.1 seconds. It's 1.2 on this lap, but Watson needs to keep the faith here. He's going to be the next one to take on Max Robinson. Plenty of speed through the S's. Job done. Now, is there time to take on Tyler Humphreys? I don't think he's too close enough to him, frankly, Jake, with the amount of time left. What, uh, three laps when they went through the line last time, and I think that's too big a gap to make up unless the race leader makes a mistake. We're into the last lap now. And Tyler Humphreys has got plenty of space over Frankie Watson, who's keeping him as honest as he can. He's still about a second back, but when you're Tyler Humphreys on this bike, full of confidence around Browra, nothing's going to shake you off your course. He knows he's got the victory. Job done for Tyler Humphreys in front of Frankie Watson. Hudson Cooper, a few seconds back in third place, but full of the joys of spring. Tyler Humphreys in the winning position. This battle's still going all the way to the death outside the top 10 as Cooper slices and dices to the line. Can he hold it for 12th position? It's Leo Hams who gets it in the end from Cooper and Evitz. Very nice riding all the way to the finish line. A victory for Tyler Humphreys in front of Frankie Watson with Hudson Cooper in third place, 11 seconds back. Wilson Dilks ahead of Joshua Herring, and then Dan Stevenson, Chloe Gleason in seventh from Lucas King, and then Leo Soliu and Ollie O'Gorman finishing up in the top ten. Tyler Humphreys full of confidence. Can he do it again in race three later?